illusion. Yeah, you can have a beard when you're in a boy band. You can indeed have facial hair when you're in a boy band. Hey guys, we're back for yet another reaction video. Guys, thank you, thank you so much for joining. I'm Roy. Hmm, okay, so I've done a lot of why don't we. If you are brand new to the channel, thank you guys so much for hitting the subscribe channel button thing, button thing, <laughs> button. <laughs> You know, I'm kind of a goofy guy, but I love to read your comments, so go ahead and drop them below. As you know, why don't we, coming out with a lot of content over the last two months, uh, looking forward to seeing more of it, you tuned in to here, so that's great, awesome. Let's give this one a listen, unbelievable. It was requested by Swiss Rody, Maddie, Alice from Italy, and Emmy, and a bunch of other roadies who are also limelighters who believe in a world where road trip and why don't we can live in harmony. You know what? We can all look for peace. Time for peace. We need some peace. Okay? <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's give it a listen. Hey, how do we, how do we, how do we? Is it like a thing where, you know, you can't have a beard when you're in a boy band? I don't know. But I think he just crushed that rule. <laughs> Push in. Yeah, you can have a beard when you're in a boy band. Look at Chris Kirkpatrick in sync. He had it. He had a goatee the whole time. Joy Fatone, yep, he had one too. You can indeed have facial hair when you're in a boy band. It's done. Ways, like you're too cuckoo. Are you guys liking the blonde? It's not a bad thing. I think it helps define the difference between the rest of the guys. Your taste, I could drink, I could drink, I could drink a whole day. Not bad, I'm liking the way this video is shot. One, finding a dried lake bed out in the desert, east of LA, uh, Arizona, New Mexico, they, they're all out there. That's where you typically find these if you're here in the States, in the United States of America, you can find these places. If it's all a dream, don't wake up, cause I just can't believe. The songwriters are doing a fantastic job with this song. It's always so fresh and you're like, okay, yeah, I like this. Dust Devils? Hmm. Okay, let's see where this takes us. Let's just hang out, see what happens. I mean, that typically doesn't happen in real life. I've seen those before, but uh, little dirt devils, dust devils, whatever you want to call them, like little small, tiny little tornadoes in the desert. I've seen them a million times, you know, driving out that way. But usually you don't see like five of them in a row. <laughs> Well, they're all about getting the wide shot now. <laughs> Back it up to that shot where, yeah, that right there, and then this one. You're like, okay, that's a really, really wide shot. It's like, wow. Hey, never thought, never thought I'd be holding you. Yeah. What was that? What on earth? It's a cube of stone? I'm believing. Then he used his dark phoenix powers? Yeah, he's, he's using his telekinesis on that one there. That's, I don't... Maybe if I keep watching, I'll see how it all pulls together. It's like water, rock, sand. It's like the elements of the earth, I guess, I'm thinking. And they're all unbelievable because they're doing magic tricks with them. Yep. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, I, it doesn't make any sense to me, but I'm actually probably liking the song a lot better than the video right now. It's sounding really good. Now we're on another planet in the galaxy, I guess. Don't know. Cause I just can't believe. Wow, they're the sand creatures. Okay, so now they're statues, I guess? There's a lot of cool, like, computer graphic stuff going on in this video. I like it. Is there a theme? I'm still looking for that. But other than that, it looks really cool. It just looks cool. Visually, it looks cool. Unbelievable from Why Don't We uh, takes a look at regrowing things from water in a dried out lake bed and with the powers of telekinesis uh, on another planet. <laughs> okay, I didn't get the video, but that's okay. I love the song. 
Uh, I don't know who the songwriter is for this particular album, for this particular set of songs. Eight Letters is a really good one that kind of spins off the rest of these next couple of songs. Uh, and then Macklemore was on one. And I'm really loving how the writers and producers are pulling the band together. A lot of this kind of supersedes some of their vocal talent. Um, so I would really love to hear more of that more. When I was introduced to Why Don't We, uh, oh gosh, a couple of years ago when I was watching uh, a lot of Logan Paul vlogs and they kind of popped up out of nowhere and I was like, okay, cool, this, this band sounds really good vocally because it's just them acoustic. Um, but um, I'm looking for more of that. And I feel like now as we go along, they produce a lot more of the videos where they're highlighting more of their vocal strengths as a band. But my opinion does not matter, yours does. Go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. I love it when you do that. That's always cool. Cause I always go back and read them, you know? And I try to reply to as many as I can. So uh, yeah, do that. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button like you always do. I love guys for doing that. I was awesome, you know what I'm saying? It's cool, it's cool. And I'll talk to you next time.